Mystery Thrills. What's up, Famaglie? It's your boy Nate, aka Tabasco Sweet. You're watching Cheap Thrills. Now for those of you who don't already know what it is, here's some words of wisdom from the Cheap Thrills fam OGs. That's right, family. Preach it. Now it's been a minute since I chefed up some fire DIY kicks. So today, I'm gonna show you how to bless your feet with one of the most iconic drops of this season. I'm talking the Adidas Dragon Ball Z Frieza Young Ones. Whew. Now Adidas is dropping a series of some legendary sneakers inspired by the littest battles in Dragon Ball Z history. And they're kicking things off with Goku versus Frieza. Now, I don't have to tell you, but your boy's a good guy. But you gotta admit, in this case at least, the bad guy's kicks go way harder. I mean, Look at that sensitive purple colorway. Goku's look has always been iconic, but can we talk for a second about those fits the Ginyu Force boys are wearing? Fuego alert! Now the real ones will run you about 150 bones retail, and I know that you know that we can do better than that family. So here's what you're gonna need. Some generic white sneakers, some vinyl patches in white, purple, and light purple. White, purple, and light purple spray paint. A purple paint pen and some ribbon. A piece of foam, the bottom of a soda bottle, ribbed pink felt and some scissors, some white paint and a paintbrush. So first, take your generic white shoe and spray paint it so it's all white. All right, well now that we got these guys white on white on white, we'll set them aside to dry. While those are drying, we're gonna start cutting out all the accent shapes we need for the sides of our kicks. Now there's a bunch of freaky shapes here, family, so feel free to use reference. But since your boy already knows everything about DBZ, I'm kicking it straight from the dome. So you're gonna wanna draw out your shapes to look something like this. Pro tip, wrap the vinyl around your shoe like this so that the placement of everything is correct when you draw it out. Precision is key, family. Now we're gonna bring out our pink felt and draw this little guy for our side accent. Now, cut this like Krillin cut off Frieza's tail. Destructo disc, my guy. All right, now we've got our three accents in light purple, dark purple, and pink. Now that we've got these cut out, we're gonna move on to our foam core that's gonna wrap around the shoe. So once again, we gotta cut this out into a freaky Frieza shape. See, family? Easy. Or should I say freezy? Now I'm just gonna cut this guy out and then we'll spray paint it dark purple. Very clean. Now, on the real shoe, the purple detail doesn't go all the way through the sole. So you're gonna have to tape this off before you spray paint it. Max authenticity. Now it should look like this when you're done, family. Now let's move on. Now the freezy young ones have two little purple nubs on the back. So for that, I'm gonna cut up a two liter bottle of pop and these little guys on the bottom. Now, my moms would get pretty pissed at me if I wasted a whole bottle of pop. So bottoms up, family. What was I doing? Just cut off the two little nubs from here. Tight. Now once you got two of these little guys, paint them with the dark purple. So now you should have a bunch of pieces, family. We've got our front accents, our side accent, our foam sole, and our purple nubbies. Now it's time to call in the guns, family. Kamehameha! All right, our shoe's looking very clean, especially this little nub guy here. Next, we're gonna put in this little jewel detail in the front of the shoe. I just cut out this little piece of pink construction paper. I'm just gonna jam it into this little hole I made. And now I'm just gonna fill it in with a thick old piece of glue. Once you're done gluing everything, it should look kinda like this. Now, I think we can all agree that these are looking pretty sick, but we're not done yet, family. Now, I know it's getting a little complicated, but stick with me. With every transformation, these shoes only become more powerful. Now, I'm just gonna... Next time on Cheap Thrills. I'm just f***ing with you, family. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take three episodes to make these shoes. Damn. Dragon Ball Z really be like that, though. Anyway, now it's time to move on to our ribbon accents. First step, we gotta draw purple lines on the edges of our ribbon. Now we're just gonna cut our ribbon in pieces that go from small to big. 
now that we've got our ribbon accents cut out, it's time to start gluing them under our shoe. Now for the side of the pink accent, our ribbon is gonna start at the seam and run underneath. Now, I'm gonna come in with my purple marker and fill in the tongue with our line accents. Now we've got all our accents painted and glued on, and we put our shoelaces back in. Now these are looking sick, but we still need some final details for max authenticity. So now I'm just gonna hit the Adidas logo with this little brush and some white acrylic paint. Damn, heat wave family. Are you seeing these things right now? Now, I have my suspicions, but let me just check something real quick. Just as I expected, family, these shoes' clot levels are over 9,000. And there you have it, family, the very clean Dragon Ball Z Adidas Frieza Young Ones. Now, I just cannot wait to flex these things on the gram. Let's get it. So what do you think, family? If you'd flex these DIY freezes, go ahead and give me a yeah in the comments. But if you think these kicks are trash and belong in the trash, I guess give me a not. Nah. Whatever, I'm not mad about it. As always, thanks for tuning in, Cheap Thrills fam. Let your boy know what kind of wild shit you're trying to get into next time. Stay boosted, family. Gang gang. Thanks for watching, Cheap Thrills fam. Who else is gonna keep you as threaded as your boy? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, show your grandma, show your mom, show your cousins. Click here for some more heat. Make sure to tune in every Tuesday for some more wholesome times with your boy.